Hello YouTube. Let's take a look at a couple new cars. Hot Wheels. Only picked up two of them. They had the B case. I think I picked up a bunch of the B case cars, but I, I did not find this one when I picked them up. The 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Which this casting is amazing. Pedal to Metal actually made one of these a couple like a couple years ago maybe and uh, he made it look a lot like this one and then they ended up coming out with it so that's really awesome looks really good with the racing livery nice detail up front probably don't have no rear detail though nope that's a nice sculpted rear detail. Would have looked nice if they would have done it. And then we got a new Skyline. Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 34. Looks awesome in this green. Always happy to add a Skyline to the collection. Uh, this is a super... I would absolutely love to have from this year. I don't go after a whole lot of supers. Do go after the ones I like though. Definitely like this one. Definitely a super I gotta have. Awesome. And if you notice a little bit different view today, but figure you guys probably would like to see a different background and this is my favorite one, my burgundy cars. And I was able to pick this up off of eBay at a good price. 1957 Chevy. Looks awesome in this flat black with real riders. don't think I had this one. If I do have it, this will definitely be cracked open. If I don't, I'm going to keep it in here. And next we have a Fiat 500. This is another one I got a really good deal on off of eBay. I don't think it was damaged when I bought it off eBay, but by the time I got it through the mail, it was shipped in a box. But he wrapped the bubble wrap around it so tight it bent the card. The card was bent in the bubble wrap that was really tight around it. So, I guess I gotta crack this one open. I don't crack open a whole lot of my supers. If they're burgundy, I definitely crack them open. There's your Supercharger Hunt logo. Or if I have doubles of it, I'll crack it open. I don't really have nowhere to display or keep my supers. I don't like throwing supers in a jammer. I don't think supers are worth throwing in a jammer. They should be displayed. A lot of people hated this little Fiat. I don't hate it. I think it's kind of a neat little casting. Now, they did release it a million times. And uh, this particular one here is like the weirdest super ever. Because the regular version of this was not this color in this case. I don't remember what color it was. But this was like from the B case, I think. But it wasn't the Super until the N case. So kind of weird that they would have done that. Still, pretty cool looking Super. Happy to add to the Super Collection. The loose Super Collection now. And I thought we'd take a look at some uh, green lights. These burgundy green lights are absolutely amazing. If you didn't know, you would think you were looking at a auto-rolled ultra red. Nice stereotypical wheels on this. Awesome rear detail. I'm so happy I picked up these green lights. This is one I've had for a little while now. Looks good with the gold rims. 
I could go without the gold hood, but awesome detail. These anybody knows of any burgundy green lights that I'm not about to show you right now? Please let me know so I can hunt for them and go after them. Because I would like to get every burgundy green light casting there is. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six of them right now. And there's a couple others that I know about that I'm going after. Awesome looking castings. So amazing. I don't know what it is with burgundy cars, but I just absolutely love them. This could be one of my favorite. It's this charger behind the rear window. The trim's all done up perfectly on this. Get your gas cap. Nice Krager style rims. Charger RT on the front. Now I could go after every one of these Charger uh, green light castings. They're amazing. And another one. All these are from uh, 100 year or Mopar which I think was released in 2014 or 2015. I think it was a three-car set, which were the three Dodges I just showed you. Got the trim around the wheel wells, the trim around the uh, indicator in the back and in the front. Awesome front detail. All got... Really detailed engines. And then probably my favorite one is this awesome gooseneck. A big burgundy trailer. Pretty heavy too. And then this truck. See my fingerprint on it. Should disappear. This truck is amazing. Super Duty. Dolly. We'll like get one of the Dolly's that has a utility box on the back. Or the flatbed that they come out with. Definitely going to have to get one of the Chevy Dolly's they just came out with. Amazing front detail on this. Lens front headlights. This is a really heavy casting too. TC Toys, Town and Country, it's a Town and Country exclusive, so that's cool they put that on the license plate. That's all the burgundy green lights I have, but this ain't burgundy, but this is one of my favorite uh, green light castings. It's hard for me to put it away because I like looking at it. Love this truck. Love the stance on it. Put an awesome stance on this truck. And this green light. It's from the Black Bandit. It's a Ford Bronco. They've released this casting a bunch of times. This is probably my favorite Ford Bronco casting. I like how it don't have the doors. Plastic lift kit under it. Uh, that's all I got to show you for now. Thought we'd take a look at these burgundy green lights. Just recently discovered. Quick look at some other of my burgundy cars. Some of my burgundy supers that are open. 
Tim just kind of chilling out up there. Like burgundy Jada trucks. Yeah, my burgundy collection. Completely taking over my workbench once again. So the display I built did not last long. I think I filled it up the same day I built it. Thanks for joining me. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And please leave comments. Thank you.